<laughs> Today we're gonna do what Adrian is calling a lightning q and I've never heard that term, but I guess we're doing it. We're actually in Dallas, Texas. Don't ask me which area because I have no idea. It's my first time here and there's a lot of people and this is giving me anxiety, but whatever. I'm just gonna go. And they asked me if I was better at math now. And I don't know how to answer that question because I think you can only get better, but you know, even though engineering is pretty math based, it doesn't mean it's only math. So you can be an engineer and not be so good at math. Like, it's not a requirement because you can be very creative creative and come up with solutions and not necessarily be good at math. I'm very intrigued by your story. How did you get an internship for BME? Uh, how did I? Well, actually, I was doing research in the lab with the chair of the BME department and my PI. Uh, one day we had a meeting and then he just said that he wanted to help me find an internship for the summer. So he had been sending me a lot of opportunities and telling me about people to connect with and I applied to a couple of them. One being the one that I actually got and so he basically just sent me the job description and how to apply and then I just applied. I sent a letter. I sent a letter of recommendation, my resume, and the cover letter. And they were only asking for the resume. So I think doing those two extra documents were really good, especially the letter of recommendation. So I never hesitate on doing a letter of recommendation if you can, because it always looks good if someone else is recommending it. Does the job outlook good? What does that mean? Does the job outlook look good? Okay. I mean, yeah. Oh, definitely. Like, I feel like in, if you go into biomedical engineering, at first I thought there was a very limited thing, amount of things I could do, but now I realize that there's a lot of things you can do with biomedical engineering. Like, you can go into industry, academia, research, you can go to a medical device company, you can do sales, you can do regulatory, you can do quality, you can go to medical device or pharmaceuticals. You can do a lot of things. You can go to the hospital and work with a doctor. You can go to medical school and become a doctor. So there's a lot of things you can do with DME. By the way, guys, get reusable straws. <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, get yourself some reusable straws and start taking care of the planet. Uh, I, I'll leave the link in the description so you can buy some. The little lesson or that I learned recently is that imagine when you're imagine that all the waste that you produce and all the trash in your house actually stays in your house. Maybe that way you can start thinking of reducing your waste amount if you thought that it was all going to stay in your house. And if you really think about it, the planet is our home. So we don't want our planet to be trashy. So just, you know, reduce your waste. What's my favorite part about the major? Mm, I mean, to me, the my most favorite thing about the major itself is the biology side, I think. It's like the instruction, or like the blueprint for like how everything works. And it's just fascinating to think of all the little things that actually go into like doing everyday functions that we don't even think about. Like all the things our cells are doing every single second and all the little components, even within cells, like everything just works so perfectly and to me just learning about those things is like like kind of like the handprint of god and like everything that he created so being able to use that to help um, make people's lives better is like really cool i think that same person also asked if i want to get a master's in the field and that's actually a really good question. Like these two cars have just... Yeah, I think I've decided I, I want a master's for sure. 
I was kind of unsure of what masters I wanted because you can you could go into like business masters. And the reason why is because UTSA offers a one year masters in BME if you take this one specific class during your undergrad. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Well, I don't know. I was gonna say maybe do a PhD, but honestly, there's like a 5% probability that I'll do a PhD. Okay, no, maybe like 30% of doing a PhD in my lifetime, but doing a PhD in the next three years, I don't think so. Yeah, and I've actually also been looking at like masters like outside of the continent. Like I was looking at like this masters that is also one year in London, I think, and it's like a medical device. And this question actually ties up to the next question, which is after being a bachelor's, what kind of masters can you get? I think you could honestly get any masters related to engineering or science. You can do uh, any masters that's related to engineering or science. Like I know in UTSA, there's like a materials engineering masters like if you want to go into biomaterials you can do a BME masters you could do a biology masters and this person also asked that their friend wants to be a surgeon and they asked if that's possible with a BME uh, bachelors and that's definitely possible a lot of people in my class are actually going to medical school after uh, graduating um, they're right now taking the MCAT, but something that uh, this PhD MD that one time went to talk to my, one of my classes, he told us that medical schools actually love having engineering students come in because a lot of people who apply to medical school, like they're taught like all these procedures and like it's very repetitive and it's like oh this is how you do this surgery and you just do it like that all the time i guess for it to be more standard and regulated but they really like engineering students coming into medical school because when you're doing your engineering bachelor's they teach you how to come up with solutions like that's the main thing about engineering is like solving problems so that's really beneficial in medical school because in the real life when you're doing a surgery, there's a lot of things that are gonna come up that you did not have planned. So yeah, they like engineering students. So if you're thinking of going to medical school eventually and you don't know what bachelor's to get, I would definitely recommend doing engineering and, specific, and specifically biomedical engineering. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, the next question was any recommendations for laptops or portable devices for BME? And actually that's a good question because when I first started, I had an iPad Pro. And the reason why I got it is actually because of Natalie Barbu. She's a, a YouTuber that I watch quite a lot. And she already graduated, but she was doing industrial engineering convincing to me and I actually loved it. I love the iPad because I had this app called Notability that only costs $10 one time and then you get it and it's basically like a notebook. But then when I started getting more advanced into engineering, you know, I started using MATLAB and SOLIDWORKS and ImageJ and obviously you can't do that in the iPad so I needed a laptop. So I decided to get a laptop that could be like touch screen so that I could use it as a notebook too. And the laptop itself, I got the Yoga Lenovo. Actually, Adrian got it for me. So thank you, Adrian. Okay, I actually got that laptop on Amazon. If you guys want to check the link down below, you can find it right there. The last question is, how has been my BME experience? Um, personally, to me, it's been really good. I went into it not knowing anything and I'm getting out of it still feeling like I don't know much but I still learned a lot so there's definitely a lot of things left to know that's why people go into grad school and things like that and I don't think you you'll ever know anything if that makes sense but 
I've loved my BME undergrad journey. I loved it at UTSA. I love the BME department at UTSA. Um, Dr. Ray has always been very helpful and he really cares about the students as well as other, other faculty at UTSA in the BME department. Because it's so competitive and new, it's a very small department. So you have classes with the same people, you even know classes above and below you. So it's a really nice community. Even though BME sounds hard, it doesn't mean you have to be a straight A, straight a student to be there. Like, you can do whatever you want as long as you try. Yeah. That's it. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you, like if you ask these questions, I hope you're watching. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask. I honestly love answering questions. Like people message me every now and then, and I love being able to help them. If, if this whole time you were wondering what this is, it's actually the mic or my clip penguin pet, if you remember. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, super cute. I might keep it on for the rest of the day, but uh, it's a really good mic and we're using a really good camera. I'll, I'll link our whole vlogging setup down in the link and I'll also link other links that might be helpful for you like credit cards, Turo app, oh and Robinhood get a free stock so yeah <laughs> so anyways that is it for this video you can follow me at either of my instagram accounts and make sure to like this video subscribe and comment if you have any questions and that is it for this video and well, here's a helicopter shot.